for God. Faith for God. Oh, faith for God. Only you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory. Oh, faith for God. We heard about you. We heard about you. We heard about you. That is why we are here. We heard about you. We heard about you. We heard about you. you. That is why we are here. Yesterday you read. You read in my family. Today, today, come at all. Rain forevermore. Yesterday you read. You read it in my destiny. Today, come at all. Yesterday you read. Hallelujah. Today, 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 come on. Yesterday, you read. Hallelujah. You read. Today, 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 come on. Today, there is no one like you Harabari football yes, ma'am. but you lack help yes ma'am exactly eh? yes, ma'am. there is no help yes ma'am who the play ball eh? you the play ball are you just looking like that chop those friends together for jesus you the play ball you the play ball yes ma'am m6 three three yes ma'am that is the name of the academy i train with hey! you chop those friends together for jesus <laughs> Six three three. Say the name of waiting. That is the name of the academy. Matthew chapter six verse the three. Guys, hey, come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. But you lack help. Yes, eh? yes. You can play very well. Yes, ma'am. But there is no help. Yes, Anytime when they want to pick you, they will drop you and pick another. Yes, ma'am. They will point you, but when it's time for manifestation, they will tell you stories yes, and pick another. This has happened for years. Yes. I came to break that embargo now. Hey, hey. I see this man playing in Europe. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Are you celebrating Jesus at all? Now, see, what I'm saying is not to please him. I am telling you what the Lord is showing me. I see where they play for Europe. Thank European, you, European League, he they play. Thank you, Jesus. If you know this man, as I shared with him now, Aha. because very soon protocols will not allow you to see him. Amen. Amen. If you are a minister, I may mean, not change your story. Amen. Amen. Now listen. You get where they hid or hide. Okay, you get where they hide your leg spiritually. Fine. 
this one where you get so not be your original leg they don't hide your leg sunday sunday yes ma that is my yeah you are sunday yes, they carry your leg hang them for village they said you no go ever play say even if you play in a local say you go play nothing to show that is why anytime they want to pick you internationally they will drop you for another but i am here now to push you to where you're supposed to be Amen. thank you mommy run go run come ah. now wow this guy is so flexible are you kidding me run again are you serious you are so flexible run again the same way now i am pouring a communion on you <laughs> that is how your international helpers will see you so shall it be yes 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 you are flexible <laughs> that is it uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sunday, uh -huh. he's about to score. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Number seven, uh -huh. he's about to score now. Now that is it. That is it. That is it. Now listen. That is it. Thank you, Father. I like you to climb the altar. Ah. This altar is a platform for you. Hey. I've given you a spiritual and physical stage. Ah, oh yeah, go 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 go. Aparata. Go there and do like this for me. Thank you, Jesus. Are you just looking like that? Come on, hey. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Now listen. That is how the whole world will watch this young man on the they play football they play they play they play as you know see helper i see that you carry something like iron if they jam iron together they burn something what is the bond eh if they wear something get the weather come on celebrate jesus i see that you they play they play they play as you they play help and not come so make you go learn skill eh? and you go do put iron together they burn something yes, that's what you do now yes, you will not miss it in destiny Amen. may your helpers come on time hey, man. i saw this guy as a professional footballer but no helper Cha. so i don't tire he got angry and left ball he can't they wait something even to eat is a problem. But now, I want to reinstate him. Hey, man. Thank you, mommy. I want to reposition you where you belong originally. There is a place you belong to. And it looks as if the devil has robbed you. I am mercy, but her. But God has the final say. Hey. The Lord will use me now to reinstate you. Hey, man. Shedrach. Shadrach. Yeah, he's, he's my junior brother. Shadrach is your junior brother. Yes. I see we are, they are clapping for you. I see we are, they are clapping for you. If you are clapping for this young man, the world will clap for you. Amen. Look at look at them clapping for you. I see Emmanuel. Eh? I see Michael. I see Shadrach. I see Elizabeth, sister. your sister. Look at them clapping for you. They say, Sam, Sam, move, Sam, move, Sam, move, move, go, go, go. Amen. Okay, are you ready for the Lord to use me to reinstate you? Yes, ma'am. You're more Both of you come. As I put this oil on their head, yes, may you discover purpose. Hey. Hey. Amen. I am so excited in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? What I'm about to do is about to affect 
27 persons positively. Amen! Because as the Lord works on them, any destiny, vision, or career that is not reborn shall receive a resuscitation. Amen! Kaparata. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Take it! Kaparata! In the name of Jesus! Amen! Are they calling you somewhere? Are they asking you to... Is somebody calling you to relocate? Is someone asking you to come? To leave Abuja and come? Eh? Yes. I see where somebody is calling you around Asaba. Yes, mom. Then they call you. Yes, ma'am. They say, make you come Asaba. Yes, ma'am. Don't go. It's up! Celebrate the call of Abuja in the heart! Celebrate this! I see where you have concluded to travel to Asaba. Don't. I see where you don't pack your bag. You want to go to Asaba. Don't. Here's your husband. This is somebody that is in a very far country. Yes. Eh? Where is he? Canada. He's in Canada. He's in Canada. Yes. And you are here. Yes. Look at. Look at where they carry rope. Tie this one for leg. Say so where you want to go. You want to come out? Yes. You want to go? Yes. You want to go meet them? Yes. But you see rope for your leg now. Nah. Why you never go? Help her, mommy. The application is delaying. It's delaying? Yes. It's delaying? Yes. See rope. Why you never go delay now? Nah? There's a woman there. There's a woman there. So Tonya, so to be so Tonya, husband. your husband. Yes. There is a woman that has submitted the name So Jesus Christ. He says So Tonya, So Tonya. He sent So Tonya picture and name Jesus. to his mama. Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? Yes. Grace. My name is Grace. Your name is Grace. Yes. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. He said So Tonya Grace. He said tear them in pieces. Jesus. Divide them. Let grace not come over. Hey. So that she can take possession. The lady has submitted Sotonye. 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 He don't carry Sotonye picture. Send to him, Mama. He said, Mama, work out for me. And the lady is from Delta State. He said, Mama, work out. He don't say to the wife won't come over, block her. And I see we are the tire leg like, like this. Say so you know go. She don't fast, fast, fast. She don't waka waka waka. Don't go. she don't pray. Go to different churches. Help me, help me. No, she don't come to final bus stop. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, he leave you go. Say later you go to come. The lady. A carrying picture. This is my first time of hearing such a name. Sotonye. Sotonye. After they done Kelaya. Kayana B. Kayana Ubodo Ibo. Aga Tobe Maya. Amen. Amen. Sir, after they done like this. I don't know what to do now. They call me. After they done like this. Me now go do them like this. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you to for celebrate grace in the house. A woman like her, uh, he carried a man picture. He sent to a mama. He said, Mama, work out for me. Now, this one I want. Work out, make the wife not ever smell this place. Because if she finally smells here, and then he said, Yawa don't gas. Then he said, It's a problem if she comes, eventually comes around. Madam, you will come around. Yeah. Alligator pepper. They count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Cowries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Look at red oil. Pamoye. 13 gallons. Look at yam. 13. Look at goat. 13. Le quoi que la note, le quoi que la bâche, 
See Oko, Oko. Native port, right? Look at them piled up. And they convert them to where they they convert them to. And they began to conjure grace tearing you apart. But thank God for the altar of God that amends anything broken. Whatever they have broken in your life Jesus. shall be mended to now. Amen. You have cried for too long. You have been weeping. Yes. Madam, this is your final bust. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you what to get for me outside. Get it for me. And stand by. I'm going to breathe upon it. And I'm going to tell you what to do with it. After that, you shall receive an email. Can you fast? Can you fast? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure you can fast? Yes, ma'am. Bring him. I bring you out of that casket. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you pray? Yes. Mommy. Can you fast? Yes, mommy. Every member of the family needs to fast. Okay, mommy. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Adamawa. Yes, ma'am. From Adamawa. You're from Adamawa. Yes, yes. Can you jump your hands together for Jesus? For Jesus. Do you have an kerchief? Start cleaning your face. Clean your eyes. I want to pray for this young lady. Pray for her, mommy. Because in a place around Adamawa, I see a woman whose breast is sweeping the ground. Jesus. Her breast, they touch ground. Vic Victoria. My name is Victoria. Your name is yes. Victoria. Come on, chum those hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Now listen. Where your mama? Yola. Yola. Yes, mommy. What is she complaining about? She's, she's sick. She's sick. Yes. You will not lose your mother. Amen. 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 There is a woman her breast that touch ground. Now, anytime her breast touches the ground, somebody will die. Because, listen to me. Ending of the year, end of the year, or beginning of the year, you must lose somebody. I lose two siblings this time here, mommy. Jesus. Two siblings. Beginning of the year and the end of the year. Papa. Not from my mother. Now, this year, the woman don't touch her breast for ground. Monica, Monica. Hi, your mother is Monica. I see your mother and I see your obituary poster. Help her, mommy. This man, this woman, she touched her breast on the floor last week, Thursday. Jesus. And last week, Thursday, you are about to lose your mother. My God. Because she already swooped the ground with her breast. Help her, my mother. Help her. Anytime she does it, somebody will die. Beginning of the year and end of the year, you have been losing people chronologically. Are you listening to me? She's about to die. Your mother is about to die. Wajo, who be Wajo? Wajo. Wajo. Your brother. He died, he died, he died earlier on last year. Last year? Yes. When? Wajo. When? February. February last year. Yes. Madam! Thank God you came. These tears you are shedding now will be the very last tear. Amen. You will share. Amen. As I pray for you now, that person went on to that grave. Are you ready to hear news? My own besides are they talk and the see him. Prophecy with solution. Are you ready to hear news? Yes, mommy. Are you clean your tears again? E gu chuku la tube 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 Freedom E gu chuku la tube E gu chuku la tube E gu chuku la tube 
You need to pray against the spirit of witchcraft. Huh? Every spirit of accusation. You hear me so? I see where they keep accusing you. And it's not good. The spirit of accusation. Bring her. As I lay my hand on your forehead, I command that mark of witchcraft to go. Leave it. Amen. Freedom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Other come buy me China white six yards, huh? white fabric, white plain. Okay, follow me. Let me show you. Follow mommy. All these materials where they cheap. That's secondary school white. That white where we have for primary nursery. Okay, you know, you know what I'm talk about. Yes. <laughs> buy that white for me. Six yards. When you buy it, I will tell you why. God loves you. Amen. Jesus, celebrate our mother the house. Buy it for me. I want to use it to work on you. Stand up. The Lord says I should breathe into your mouth. Come. Are you sick? Huh? Yes. You are sick? Yes. There is a friend of yours that poured you urine. A friend of yours used urine to bet you. Are you listening to me? Yes. And I don't see this thing happening in Nigeria. Li Liberia. Li Liberia. Yes. Liberia. You're from Liberia? Yes. Can you jump those hands together for Jesus? Yes. I see a friend of hers pouring urine on her. And she said, the man in your life will dump you. Yes. You said the person in your life presently will dump you. Yeah, eh? It's true. It's true. Yes. You said he will dump you. Yes. Where the man? In the US. It's in US. Yes. Why is he there and you are here? And you are there. You, you work out, you leave you work out. Eh? Yes. The man not even want to look your face. You don't want to hear your voice. He don't call me. Eh? He, don't call me. he doesn't call you. Ah, oh. Not at all. Yes. When you call him, what, what does he speak? He doesn't pick your call yes. and he doesn't call you. A friend of hers dated her with urine. He said, I saw you go the smell. He said, he said, get prayer. Yes. Who be get prayer? My husband. Your husband is get prayer. Yes. He said, get prayer will dump you. And through through get prayer dump him. He said, get prayer will find another woman. And he said, he go put affliction in your body that will make get prayer tired, get tired of you. Are you sick? Yes. You are sick. sick. You've been sick. Yes. See how she's urinating on you. She's urinating on you. The man not to pick your call. Yes. And you know they look you again. And you are sick in your body. Before tomorrow's morning. Before tomorrow's morning. Aha. Before tomorrow's morning. Yes, Lord. The pool shall be stored on your behalf. Amen. Now look at me. Mark my words. The words that I speak to you, that's with their life. And I'm not saying it for you to be happy. You are returning with a testimony. Amen. Open your mouth. Thank you, Father. Congratulations. Amen. Abula. Okay, do you know anybody where they wear a youth copper? Who is a youth copper? You are a copper cop. Follow mommy. Stretch forth your hands towards this young man. Against accident. I don't know you. I've not seen you before. I see somebody wearing copper uniform. In the crossroad, something happened. Chima. Chima. 
Who be chema? You are chema. Come on, can you jump those hands together for Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. There is somebody from Imo, Imo State. You are from Imo State. They are conveying the coffin. And I see Chima, they were crying. He must stay. Pray for him. Stretch forth your hands towards him. Kaparato, Kubalatriada. In the name of Jesus, we lift you before God and we separate you from every spirit of accident, from every spirit of untimely By the power in the name of Jesus, Allamaniya Shekopralede, we separate you today from that powers of untimely death in the name of Jesus. It is not your blood. Your blood will not be shed. Your life will not be taken in the mighty name of Jesus. By this grace, we speak in Kupalatai Manosaleta. In Jesus' name. That death in Jesus' name. Amen. I stand on the predicate of my calling uh -huh. as a voice of solution. Yes, Lord. To pray for this young man yes, Lord. as a son. He shall not die before your time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go! And live up to 85, 90 years. Amen. Anybody that said because you have graduated, you will end your life. Fire. May they die your death. Amen. They said because you want their khaki, when we are copper buy uniform for this family. Jesus. So you know the fear. That is what they're telling him. You want we so you have graduated now. Oh yeah, now. What we see. Oh God, you will live long. Amen. I say you will live long. Amen. And may the Lord prosper you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh God, the Lord is about to blow some your ministry. Are you a pastor? Huh? Amen. I see you preaching. Yes, mommy. Somebody carried your handbill and carried big block. Rock. Not block, rock. Put upon it. Are you hearing me? Yes. Israel. Yes, That's you. Yeah. Carry your hand. Carry um, rock. What I'm saying is not block. It took hand no go fit carry. So I don't know how that hand bill found itself under that rock. But your hand is under a big rock. Eh? Ato. Oro. Oro. Orobo. Yes, mommy. What's Orobo? Orobo. Orobo. Urobo, 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 celebrate the God of the house. Celebrate the God of our mother. Where are you from? Eh? Delta states. Solution, dominion, dominion, solution. Dominion, solution, ministry. Dominion, solution, ministry. ministry. But there is rock on top. Mm. See me after service. Let me know. Thank you, mommy. You stepped on poison. Jesus. Are you hearing me? You stepped on poison. From your waist down. You can't understand. Eh? Where? Your waist. Uh, this is my waist. Your waist here. Uh, How did they do you? Did they hurt me? Did they hurt you? You can't even start for too long. Mm. Eh? Mm. The thing they hurt you. No. Like I said, they, they carry nail. They hit, they, the they hit that place. Yeah. Eh? Yes. There is somebody called Alosia that poisoned you. Jesus. Come follow me. Alosia has poisoned you. And I want to return it back to sender. Yeah. If you shout amen, anything that does not look like God in your body will jump. Amen. The Bible says that Naomi went out full and returned empty. That shall not be your portion in the month of April. Amen. Anytime you step out in the month of April, you shall return with your basket full. Amen. Amen. You will not return empty handed like now. Ay, ay, ay. I, I said, you shall not return empty like Naomi. Amen. You shall not return empty like Naomi. Amen. I prophesy. Amen. And I prophesy again. Amen. Between now and the next three days. Yes, Lord. Let all the way we die require uh -huh. for you to end this year in a grand style. Enter your hand. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. The way we die, the way we die, the capacity you require. Oh, katapalata. The kind of breakthrough that will carry you through the rest of the year, you shall enter your head this one. You shall enter your head this one. You shall enter your head this one. Hey, I said, see, I have opened before.
here. I have opened before you. I have opened. I have opened a door. A door which no man can close. I prophesy. In the month of April, may the Lord open new doors for you. May the Lord open major doors for you. And I speak into your destiny. I speak into your business. You shall not count losses. You shall begin to count your gain. You shall not count losses. You shall count your gain. In the name of Jesus Christ. On Monday prosper. On Tuesday prosper. On Wednesday prosper. Thursday prosper. Friday prosper. Saturday you will sing a new song. Sunday you will do well. And I prophesy. Between now and the next two days. You shall dine with the king. You shall dine with the king. I said you shall dine with the king. Is there anyone remaining in the heart of soul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? I prophesy to you. I said I prophesy to you. May your matter be discussed at different quarters. You, you don't hear what I just said now. Lodiba, Lodiba, Lodiba. Mephibosheth was left in Lodiba. He didn't know his mother was his cousin in the palace. Am I talking to somebody? Even Saul was rigmaroling in the bush. Three days and three nights. He didn't know heaven was open for him. Lest I forget. The theme of this month is open heaven. Ay, ay, ay. Am I talking to somebody? Now Saul was lost in the bush. He didn't know heaven has opened for him. Ah, heaven was troubled. Heaven was disturbed. Heaven was holding a conclave because of one stranded man in the bush. I don't know where you are stranded in your life. Maybe you are stranded in business. Maybe you are stranded in marriage. Any facet of your life, it looks as if you are stranded. As you hear the sound of my voice, I come to announce to you. That heaven is provoked for your sake. Amen. I say heaven is there for your sake. Amen. I say heaven is. Ay, 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 ay. I hear the Lord say to me, as many of you under the sound of my voice, that will shout the loudest amen. amen. Heaven shall hold the beast because of it. And I speak to you once today. And the Bible says, God spoke to the prophet. There cometh a stranded man from the bush who went to look for his father's donkey. He doesn't know whether to go or to return. He doesn't even know what to do. And God spoke to the prophet. He said, When he shall come, a mighty king over Israel. Am I talking to somebody? And when so got to the prophet, the Bible says the prophet carried a vial of oil and emptied it on his head in the book of First Samuel chapter 10. And he said to him, Is it not because the Lord has made the captain over his inheritance? And I prophesy, wherever they kept you at the back, I hold you by the hand and bring you to the front. I said, I bring you to the front hall. Oh. I said, I bring you to the front hall. Oh. And I prophesy again. I don't know how long you have been hidden. Hey. I don't know how long you have been covered. I am a super attack. I don't know the mouth that has cost you. Lift up your hands, oh, you can't. Oh, you everlasting thoughts. For the king. And the Bible says, uh, the gate replied, does the gate in your house speak? I want to ask you a question. The gate, whether your house is the dog, but that gate spoke. In other words, behind every affliction you go through, there is an entity. Behind every delay in marriage, there is a personality. Behind every sickness that has been gone. That is the hand of a man. And that get spoke. Get don't speak. Get is an inanimate object. But that get spoke. That suggests to me. That gave me a clear credence to the fact that behind what you are going through, there is somebody. I don't know who is behind your pain. I don't know who is behind your affliction. Between now and the next 35 seconds. Yes, Lord. Power from this altar will 
Jesus. Holy Ghost will reply there. Amen. Fire will reply your enemy. Amen. In the mouth of fire, pray. Yes, Lord. Fire will reply there. Amen. Wherever they are, yes, wherever they are, yes, whoever they are, yes, we will not eat nor drink yes, until we see Paul die. Yes, wherever they come out against him, yes, and the Bible says yes, in the book of Psalm chapter two, yes, why do the hidden rich yes, and the people in much infantry? Yes, and the rulers gather themselves together. They take counsel against the Lord and his anointed. And they say, Let us scatter them. Let us put them in shelter. Let us break their call. And the Bible says, In verse 4, the Lord will laugh at them in heaven. And the Lord will have them in garrison. Am I talking to somebody? Under the sound of a voice, whoever that will gather against you in a prayer, in your office, in your neighborhood, in your mother's house, in your father's house, wherever they will gather against you to frustrate your business, to frustrate your career, to frustrate your labor, to frustrate your effort, to frustrate your relationship, to frustrate your marriage, they shall pay. Somebody shall fire! Somebody shall fire! Whatever they buried in your family! Somebody shall fire! Whoever buried it in your family! Somebody shall fire! Whatever they have put on your head! Somebody shall fire! Somebody shall fire. They have looked at where you are going. They say, Let afflict this person. They have looked at where you are going. They have looked at where God is taking you. They say, Let afflict her. Let afflict her. I prophesy. I see hear the sound of a voice. Every attack they fired in your body. It will expire today. It will expire today. It will expire today. Somebody shout affliction. Expire. Shout affliction. Encounter. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I said after tonight's encounter. Yes, Lord. I said after tonight's encounter. Yes, Lord. And Joseph dreamed a dream. Aha. When he dreamed a dream, hell broke loose. Jesus. His brothers hated him. The kind of miracle that you made people ask, how did it happen? Oh, Jesus. the kind of miracle that will make people start investigating. Michael, Michael. The kind of miracle that will make people argue. Yeah. How can this be? It will happen for you. Hey, I said it will happen for you. Hey, After tonight, you will have a dream. Hey, After tonight, you will dream a dream. Hey, 
Whatever your vision shall be clearer. Amen. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave it again and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord said to me. Uh-huh. The wicked man, the wicked woman in your family. Yeah. It's possible you cried last year. Yeah. It's possible you buried and cried last year. Yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible you lost somebody last year. Yeah. And you have developed wound, indelible wound in your heart. You have developed indelible wound in your heart. There is wound in your heart. You've been crying privately. But I came to announce to you what God is about to do in your life. All the days of your life. You shall laugh aloud. Hey. If I can hear the Lord say, Amen, the Lord will compensate you. The Lord shall give you double for your trouble. Somebody shall Affliction shall not rise this God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know here what I talk. I hear you, Bobby. I say you never cry again, oh. Amen. I say you never see shame again, oh. Amen. I say your labor is over, oh. Amen. I say that sickness has jumped out of your body. Amen. If your amen is not a sorrow is fine. Amen. Sorrow is fine. Amen. Sorrow is fine. Amen. Shame is fine. Amen. Your tears are over. Amen. Your tears are over. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout it again. Shout hallelujah. Let me prophesy as the Lord ministers to minister to you. Prophesy. Prophesy. This year. You will not bury a child. Amen. Amen. I am prophesying as the Lord ministers to me. Amen. I say you will not lose a child. Amen. You will not bury a child. Amen. You will not bury a child. Amen. You will not bury your business. Amen. I say you will not bury your business. Amen. Nothing will die in your head. Amen. You shall not lose a loved one. Amen. Raise your hand and shout hallelujah. So say this as the Lord ministers to me. Yes, Tommy God. You have been moody for too long. Yeah. You have wept, you have cried, you have suffered, you have labored. Now listen to me. Life is not turn by turn. Life is force by force. Uh-huh. Even if you never reach your turn, right now, I enforce your turn. I provoke your turn. Now listen to me. Yes, mommy. Maybe your father's house said it can never be your turn. My God. Maybe your uncle said it never did your turn. You don't keep for life for many years. I'm not talking to somebody. Yes, mommy. You have waited for too long. My God. You have lost opportunities. My God. Countless opportunities. They said it never did your turn. You have lost a Promotion. They say it is not your choice. That part your qualification. You cannot get that contract. When it was your time, they gave your time to another. I get to provoke your time. I get to provoke your time. I'm not talking to somebody. Life is not come by turn. Life is force by force. Right from the days of John the Baptist. See the the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Only the violent take it by force. I come to announce to somebody: If you are too gentle, you cannot settle. Gentility sponsors calamity. I'm not talking to somebody. Your father was too gentle, and he ended up a nobody. Your mother was too gentle, and they poisoned her. I'm not talking to somebody. Christianity 
and prophesy into your life as your prophet, as your ordained priest, as your prophet, as your mother in the Lord. Whatever you do with the month of April, you shall seek a new song. Was working in a certain organization, and sometimes they'll pay a thousand naira daily, sometimes they'll pay a thousand five, sometimes they'll pay a two thousand naira, sometimes two five in that order. But she said she kept coming to church and she told me and said, From that money I was being paid, I was faithful in my tithing, I was faithful in my giving. She said, I decided that every one cobo that enters my hands, I was going to tithe from it. And she said she has been very committed to the tithing system. Hallelujah. And then she said she was giving. She decided to also join the workforce. She was committed and doing her job as a worker in the house of God. She said to the glory of God, she started saving. And how God embarrassed her with blessing, she cannot explain. But today, from being an employee... 
God has made her a business owner. Business is moving fine for her. Everything is working to the glory of God. She said God didn't just stop you know, the miracle with her. But remember she has said she was believing God to establish her brother in business. She said to the glory of God today my brother is also a business owner right now. Can you please celebrate Jesus? And she said the faithfulness of God has been so evident in her life, in her marriage, in the life of her son and that of her husband. She said God has turned my life around for good and I cannot be quiet about it. Her sister told me at the back, she said, standing here right now to share this testimony is a testimony on its own. Her sister said, it started some times ago, she was in the dream of the night and then the devil came and then saw some kind of stuff in that dream, she said. She saw herself unable to walk, unable to talk. And then in that dream, she was communicating to the sister by writing on the wall. In other words, she couldn't talk in that dream. So the only way available for her to communicate with her sister was to get something and then she was writing on the wall and then she woke up and then she prayed that Israel prayer and then went back to bed she said a season had passed after that period and then what she saw in the dream was now beginning to manifest in her life physically you said somehow she can't just explain it but she found out that strength was leaving her holding her phone in her hand was a major challenge she had to hold the wall to be able to stand up walking became very difficult and then life was just leaving her you say it got to some point she said from one part of her body it looked as though she was paralyzed pains everywhere she you know it was as if a, a major a major part of her body was not functioning and then she said even walking you can notice that something is wrong with this lady and then she came to church and then in, in the in the course of the prophetic demonic agent of the devil has told you that let me see how you will get married and she confirmed that to be true that it was in a dream of the night and then a demonic being came to her and then told that let's see how you can get married she said in that dream she saw what looked as though her mouth was twisted somehow and then she woke up frightened she woke up with a lot of fear in her heart and then she said she went to the hospital doctors checked and checked and checked told her man of things anxiety gave her all forms of medical terminologies and then gave her medication but she said the more she took those medications the more the case got even more severe and then at this point she knew that she had to run to jesus to do the miraculous hallelujah and then she said she she went back to the hospital again they checked her and they were talking about liver issue and all of that she told herself at my age how can i be having such issue she said the devil was trying to make a statement she said physically she was becoming bloated and the people saw her were saying ah you are getting fat out but she knew within her that it was a major challenge and then she decided to come see the voice of solution she said to come see my mother your mother mommy rose calvin and the mommy told her and said this is not a physical matter this is a spiritual matter doctors will not be able to see what is wrong with you but as your spiritual mother i will step into this matter true to that mommy stepped into the matter prayed for her and she said to the glory of god since the day mommy prayed for her she said every day has been an improvement without taking any medications without going to the hospital every day she wakes up is from one level of strength to the other and she said today i can stand on my own full of energy full of vitality to the glory of god a sister have returned to give glory to God that have not disappointed her and her family. She said to me at some point last year, she was preparing to get settled down. To her greatest surprise, she used to know her genotype. Her genotype used to be AA. But at that point of getting married, she went for a test. And then the result came out and it happened that she turned out to be the AS genotype. Hallelujah. She said to me, it was devastating, a, a, a situation of so much confusion around her at that point. She was running helter skelter, doing tests here and there to see if there would be a difference. But it appears it was a satanically orchestrated reality for her life at that point. She said she lost everything, even the wedding and everything went down the drain. But she said she kept believing God and then she heard of mommy and decided to come to unveiling the veil city. She said she was here last week and during the service she was interceding. Lord, I want a turnaround from this situation of genotype that have made my partner to deny me um settlement hallelujah she said in that service 
he had a covenant with God that Lord I want a change of my genotype she said she's standing here today that genotype totally changed she's standing here today that genotype that was determined to be AS from different labs she visited is now AA to the glory of God are you celebrating Jesus the testimony did not end there she's also here to celebrate God she said to me in February that she was in the church for the the favor and flavor program hallelujah she was here for the favor and flavor program and then something else was happening outside that is also to to confirm to the fact that it is risky to absent yourself from the gathering of brethren she was here connecting herself to what was happening on the altar not knowing that the enemy was orchestrating something else her daughter was in the hand of one child's drivers hallelujah she said when mommy was ministering mommy mentioned and said Rate, if there is a family member you want God to encounter raise up that family member either a photo or anything that connects to that family member to God she said the only leading she had in her spirit was to flip to the picture of her daughter and raise it up to God she didn't know the prayer point because there was no actually prayer point as her then to her own knowledge not knowing to her God was trying to deliver her daughter she said to me after that service the daughter called her and say when I during the afternoon today I entered a cab that was that was being driven by one chance drivers I was almost taken to a destination I don't know but I don't know what happened to them at the point of taking me to a different destination they started saying okay i'll leave our vehicle we cannot carry you anymore your business is bad business this is the work of the grace in the house are you celebrating jesus our sister here sarah living us have returned to give glory to god she said she's a business person she's into um cooking food and selling hallelujah but she said there was something mysterious surrounding her business she said she would cook and then sell from morning till night and she would not make up to the amount she used in preparing the food she said the the, the, the money she will get from the food will be less than the money she invested in cooking the food it was like a mystery she didn't understand she thought it was as a result of her inability to make proper calculation so she had to upgrade herself in being very careful on how to hand over change and do every other thing but then this same thing persisted so in that particular junction in that junction of confusion she decided to start looking for solution hallelujah she says she she learned about mommy in the uh, mommy in the house a prophetess the voice of solution and she came to this place and she said her prayer point was lord i don't understand how i will labor like an elephant and my result will be coming in peace meals my result will be coming like the result of a nun she said to me she came tabled it before god on the total freedom program and then after that she said things turned around she said to me the next day in the morning she was able to get an amount just the morning period she got an amount that was two times what she used to get in the whole day hallelujah in the evening of that same day the return came again triple of what she normally gets before that same day within 24 hours she made almost four times of what she normally gets up in issue hallelujah and she's not taking it for granted she will return to give all the glory to god she also said that one of the challenges she also tabled at the place of prayer in the total freedom program was lord even i know i understand how much i am an expert in what i do but then when my food come out some part of it will be done the other part will not be will not be ready you know some kind of half done and problem here and there but she said after that service perfection came upon her excellence came upon her now when she does the cooking everything comes out perfect and every other thing now is perfect she's here to give glory to return all the glory to god she said to me she got married after her introduction in the year 2011 
she said immediately after that introduction an evil hand touched her and she started experiencing pain in her stomach region hallelujah she said this pain she she felt like it was a pain that would just fade away the next day but it persisted she said she con conceived the first year her first conception she lost it at the fourth month she said she went to the hospital and made some medical inquiry and she was told that it was a fibroid but that the fibroid at that state was not enough to cause series of miscarriages so she had to be in and then conceived again and at the same fourth month there was another miscarriage she said she conceived the third time and the same thing happened again this time around at the sixth month the baby went and it happened again at the fourth at the fifth month somebody say fire it was a repeated case of satanic manipulation against her fruitfulness she said she had to re relocate from kogi state to abuja she relocated from kogi state to abuja and immediately she got to abuja she started looking for solution she says she went to the they did a surgery and after the surgery it was like the pain tripled the pain became like we they were using scissors to cut her stomach the pain become like you know she was she was going to pass out everything about her even her pulse was failing hallelujah her pulse was failing but she said she kept believing god and as god may have it our mommy identified her in the crowd she said instantly the pain checked out and since that friday till now that she's standing here no pain every orchestration of the enemy against her life terminated as a result of that one single encounter are you celebrating god Dependent on you, show yourself so strong. In the fatigue, please stand up, stay fast, flap your wings around, touching every soul. Come touch us one more time. 